Welcome back to Let's Play Crisis 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and this guy is really suspicious. Friends dead. Shit. We are here in Roosevelt Island trying to get our way to the prism. Cell is not making it easier. Easier? Easy. Copy. A film search pattern. Like somebody doesn't know the how to count. Or I haven't even had the chance to uh, get my timer going, so. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, let's see here. Shout out to uh, Ragnarok1945. He raises a good point uh, by saying, you know, regarding the uh, the guys who were locked up at the uh, the Marine base. Uh, BDF, you really have to consider why the Cell soldiers still have their gear. The Ceph invasion of New York City is still in play, and the Marines know they'll have a long way to go. If things go south, they will need all the help they can get their hands on, and that means the Cell soldiers might be needed later on, as the Cell soldier said it himself at a uh, timestamp. Yes, the Marine did say they were to disarm the Cell soldiers, but surely he had to understand that nobody can tell how the uh, Ceph invasion will play out. Hargreave knew that, and that's why he too has helped you along with the Marines. At timestamp, you can also see that Gould knew the Marines won't be enough, which proves that somewhat similar to Lockhart, Barclay still thinks he can win by fighting the Ceph the traditional way. The only difference is that due to Cell being a PMC, their orders might as well just be anyone who's not a Cell soldier is marked kill on sight. I'd also like to give a shout-out to Sam Winchester, who says that, uh, with August 23rd fast approaching, I was worried the crashing issue really was the Ceph's strategy to keep BDF from learning how to defeat them. But I'm glad you and Alcatraz are back, BDF. Humanity is counting on you. And regarding that, uh, Devastator who just kept his back turned to me, why is he ignoring me? Well, maybe he's just realized that he's been on this alien planet for hundreds of thousands of years, all his loved ones are probably dead, and he's part of a hopeless invasion that's being repelled by one, one, dude in a fancy suit. Uh, I love that, putting numeral one after the word one. Maybe he's just depressed and waiting for the sweet release of death. <laughs> Damn! That went darker than I expected. And shout out to everyone's friend Yornick, who says, Oh, PDNY isn't a police station. It's actually a strip club. One of those tiny hipster places where there's no stripping and no clubbing. But shit's still popular for some reason. And PDMY stands for Pretty Dames Noticing You. They, of course, don't notice nobody, since this whole deal's very hipster and ironic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, and uh, Justin Jones, the, uh, the non-sighted... Uh, viewer, I guess, is the word, uh, says, When you were unable to see what was attacking you, the thought that entered my mind was neither did I. Don't mind my self-deprecating humor. But it is poet poetic justice of the Ceph's own weapon being turned against them. And yeah, that was messed up. When the spore weapon washed over the street, there were like five or six uh, regular Ceph there and a Devastator, and all of them blew, and all of them blew up one by one like I was using Mike on them. Then again, maybe the energy does recharge really fast already. Copy. Flush him out. Sweep the area. Back off. Oh fuck! Ow, ow. Bad luck. I dropped right in front of a guy, and that guy had a cable. That hurt. I mean, it hurt him more. He is no longer alive, to be clear. His buddies will be closing in on that spot real soon. 
the hell? Why can't I switch with the visor? My other buttons are working, not the visor. Okay, now it's come up. What the hell? Is that a dude? No, it is not a dude. Oh, I don't like it when the controls lag is several seconds behind what I'm doing. I'm guessing that yellow dude is still alive. Is that? Oh, that's the Majestic. Oh, fuck. I bet these guys were really, really good at Where's Waldo when they were kids. I actually missed his karate there. Uh, that guy actually died of embarrassment because he had just finished saying the area was clear. That is not true. That is not even close to being true. You know, this is actually a really nice island, which is weird because there's a big important facility on it. So you'd think the Seth would have just hammered this area if there was anything important about it. Recommend tack assessment. What do we got? Number one, flank. Number two, stealth. Oh, sorry, it's number three. Number two is actually ledge grab. Tag. Jeez, I didn't even see that guy. Oh my god, for the suit, man. It just knows things. I distinctly remember, I think I mentioned this already, it did not read out the objectives in the previous game. You just get, you know, a text pop up on screen. I wonder if we could program it to talk for me, you know? Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, there's a guy on that turret. There's a guy in the window. Yoink! Oh, I see, ledge grab is that window. Next to the one of the dude in it. Maybe I killed that spotlight there first. Can, even if I could hack into that missile launcher and have it just hammer this building, I'm here in a rescue mission, and I don't know where Hargreave is. Well, I mean, I can guess he's, uh... There it is. All the way over there, what is it, 63 meters? So he might actually be in that building. Great. Okay. Just gotta get out here. Shit, my buddy. Can you fly, Clarence? Bunch of dudes in that building. The tack points. Where have the tack points gone? Well, I guess I'm here now. It doesn't really matter, does it? Just gotta 
walk in the door. Oh, email! Grendel, hmm. Kind of expected all hell to break loose and that guy up there saw me. To be totally honest with you. I think I'll leave the Grendel there. Vines already so thick in here. Well, I guess it's not vines, it's a like climbing ivy, but still. How long has the city gone dark for? Oh shit. They did the right thing with that guy, stood in the window with a sniper rifle. I must have tagged his triangle through the wall, but not his uh, actual body, because it didn't give him the red outline. All right, slow down and listen carefully, Alcatraz. Lockhart set an EMP trap for you at the next control barrier. Shit. If it triggers correctly, it'll fry the nano shell systems and probably your synapses too. Now, there's no way to bypass the trap, but we can trick it out. There's a substation for the Prism's power grid over near the east shore, not far from your position. Reach the electricity substation. Vitas, natural spring water. That label looks very much like a brand that you get up here, but I can't remember what it's called. I don't think it's Evian. Isn't that like green or something? Probably what the name is referencing, though. Like the, 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 the color scheme there. Okay, where am I going? Uh, 100 meters, 150 meters that way, even, electricity substation. I will note that even if it doesn't kill his synapses, if the suit shuts down, Alcatraz dies. Like I said, pretty much right off the bat, he is the suit now. Like it or not. Crap. Oh, it's a pop can. You see, it automatically disabled the, uh, disabled and then re-enabled the cloak when I, uh, reached out to grab the can, when, when I threw the can. I don't know what the third one is about, though. Where the fuck am I going? 
Oh. There's a ledge on this doorway. What? No, the other way around. Except this is just dead ends. Oh. What is that sound? Oh, it's the door. Oh, the door and the light are meant to draw my, the sound and the light are meant to draw my attention up there. Do I hear footsteps right there? Probably not. There's just a big hole in here. And that's probably where I'm going because I can't go anywhere. Ammo check, doing great. I'll just grab that since I am passing through. So I thought that was a symbol on the wall here. But as I look at it, I think this light spot is just a light spot on the wall that happens to have some cracks running through it. Oh, there's roaches all over the wall. Oh, no, 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 never mind. It's just a perspective thing. It's actually flies uh, flying around thickly in the air in front of me. How lovely. I'm really glad I'm in here and they're out there. Hey, that's a positive. I'll never be bitten by a mosquito again. I guess killing all those dudes was kind of a problem, huh? Oh, that's a lot of power, our king. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Okay, real quick then. Number one, flank. Number two, stealth. Number three, where's number two? Oh, snipe. Oh yeah, that's a really tall location, sure. It's really helpful when they, uh... Telegraph their position like that with the uh, the laser sights. I even know that guy's not looking at me right now. Whoa, what? A large black shape just appeared in the air and then disappeared. I don't... Oh, I don't think this is supposed to be happening. Oh, I think it's just crumbling stuff falling off of the roof and then landing on top of... Uh, uh, Alcatraz here. Okay, this is tricky. I guess I'll try to stealth around to spot three, see how that goes. Right, it's over there, past the wall. And there is a gap in the wall past these two chuckle fucks. Oh shit, they probably heard that. section, actually. No, 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 I didn't even buy the uh, the one to make the nano recharge go faster. Warning, electro electric fence, risk of electric shock. Why am I still thinking around to this side? Okay, energy. Well now, oh jeez. Well, I've, I've stealthed over to this side. I'm not entirely sure what I have benefited from. This does seem to be a weakness in their defenses, though. See, this doesn't feel as much like running away as it did early on. I'm go ahead and tag that guy. I thought all the power in the city was off. How's that spire still lit up? I suppose there were still some lights on. Maybe it's like generator powered. 
What is this? A grenade launcher. Oh, shit. Oh, this is actually where I'm going. Convenient. I like how the vibrations get stronger when you reach low energy mode. I don't know that I mentioned that before. Oh, what the hell. The emails have got to be in the towers. Uh, oh, shit. That's a spotlight. Don't want to walk in that. Seize the body! I swear, they've got to be running off of dead man switches or something. They did that eventually in, uh... I want to say Batman Arkham Asylum. Where if you killed a dude, everyone else in the area would immediately know about it. And I was right by that elevator. Rude. Oh boy. I think I'm a fool. I don't think I can actually get up there. Ah! Foolish! I'm hearing popping in the audio. I wonder why that is. I mean, they're still doing a bad job of this, let's be clear. I mean, if you insist. Hi there! Thank you! Yeah, this ought to keep the pressure on, I think. Oh, I don't think you liked that very much. Maybe you shouldn't have pissed me off. Evil chuckle fucks. Second time I've said that today. Odd. Alright, I guess most of these buildings can't actually be entered. But hey, I did actually stealth over here, so I feel pretty good about that. Okay. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Crisis 2. We head back in there, ride that elevator, and uh, find out exactly how we're going to trick an EMP from going off. Simplest answer, we either kill all the power, or we set it off right now while I'm not standing in the chamber. Those are, uh, that's my bets anyway. I'll, uh, see you guys next time. Later!